Hey Carl, I'm Mary Powers. I talked with oh, you. Oh yeah, hi Mary. Yeah, yes, yeah, we and talked I talked with you before last night. Yeah. Hey. Are you having a good Comic Con? Yeah, I'm worn out, but yeah, I'm I great. I think everybody yeah, is. Powers, where are you from? Kentucky. Well, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lived in New Orleans for many, many years, so. Cool. Okay, um, well, are you alive yeah. going into season two? or do you I'm alive going into season two, that's safe to is say. That, is that safe to say? Sure. Okay. For sure, for the moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Beyond that, we can't tell you, but... Okay, good. Because we pick up right where we left off, and right where we left off was them throwing Doc, who was still breathing, uh -huh. in the back of the car. Okay. But from With that all the nukes on, coming down. Now, so we'll, so see, you know. we'll see what happens, and who survives, and who doesn't make it, and okay, what happens cool. to the world out there, but... No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I like is the, is the Easter eggs that are scattered through here. I don't know if uh -huh. only one catch. You know, like Doctor Five's family mortuary. Right, right. Bushwood Country Club. I mean, I, so I know there's got to be a bunch more, but it's oh, there's really tons of like stuff. There's um, there's one Easter egg people should look for in the pilot where the uh, the Back to the Future car is hidden in a in a shot right towards the end of the show. And oh, wow. there's all kinds of tons of Easter eggs and crazy stuff in the show and. We reference other shows a lot, and um, yeah, it's a, we like doing that kind of stuff. Why is that conversation? Why is that secondary conversation important now in television? To not just be not to, not just to deliver one narrative plot, but to actually have an entirely second conversation with your audience by doing that. By oh, absolutely! Easter because by because the, because now people, you know, the way they they use TV and stuff like that is is much more interactive and, and you know we spend a lot of time talking to our fans and watching the fans talk to each other and and yeah keeping the conversation going between episodes and and um, and just the whole zombie phenomenon is so interesting I mean you know as good as our show is and as good as The Walking Dead is those 18 million people that go to watch The Walking Dead aren't there just because of that show's quality there's something about zombies that really resonates with people and and um, it's crazy how people just want to be zombies, and they'll do anything. Once you get them into makeup, they have like no problem with laying in the mud for three or four hours, or you know, being killed over and over and over again. They just have such a good time. Most of our zombie extras go home in their outfits at the end of the day. They won't get out of makeup. They want to go home and scare their friends. Oh, they and, went to hitchhike know. home. Did you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One night, yeah, one night we had a guy. Tell that story. It's like, like it's like ten o'clock at night. We're on some like like you know uh, distant location out in the middle of nowhere, and I'm like the last guy leaving the set. And there's one of our extras in full gear, like hitchhiking out on this empty highway. And I'm going, you want to ride, man? Nobody's going to come by for, he's going, no, 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 no. I'm waiting for the next guy to come along and pick me up, you know? He's just like, <laughs> you were working it, man. Eight bikes. So yeah, they just, uh, they can't get enough of it, you know? So you weren't, you weren't afraid of uh, uh, taking out uh, characters, main or minor or anything else. Uh, what's the basis for that? The survival in your zomb zombie apocalypse seems more random than it does according to ability or smarts or anything else. Yeah, I think, well, because I think that's the way it would go down. That's sort of, and also just to keep the audience on edge and to, to you know, have some credibility with them. If we, if we never kill any of our main characters, then that sort of takes the drama out of those intense scenes. And it's when, you know, um, <clears throat> we sort of go beyond those boundaries. I mean, episode two this season is a crazy episode. It's just walled, it's a fight from minute one through the whole thing and everybody almost gets killed and has near death experiences and so you know and it it doesn't turn out well for all of us but but you know at the same time it's it's that's what makes the show exciting and different and and how you'll tune in and not know what's going to happen this week and not you know that's we want the audience having to pay attention because they never know what's coming next and where are we going to see season two set? Because season one was spread all across the place. And I think one of the things I really liked about the show is how quickly you guys traveled and got to. You weren't, you weren't taking, you know, a whole season to walk to Atlanta. Let's just we, do more, yeah. we do more in our teaser than the walking, really in terms of, like, plot movement. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a very different show that way. And, and, and we get all over the country this season. You know, we're... We're on the Mississippi, we're in the, the woods, we're, you know, um, in the desert, uh, we go to the Grand Canyon, we go uh, into Mexico, we have a great, you know, sequence that takes us down into Mexico for the season, and a 
really interesting explanation of like the only government that's left um, operating anymore. Um, so and some and a great uh, uh, Emilio Rivera from Sons of Anarchy comes and plays like a great heavy recurring heavy that comes in and uh, um, so yeah we've got some really cool stuff in a lot of different locations and places a lot of travel this episode. And lots season. of cool new guest stars besides Emilio. There's yeah. several others. Is Emilio yeah, an a ally or an is Emilio's character an ally or an enemy? Oh, not an ally at all. Oh, okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, no, no, no. no he's definitely. Uh, I think in his uh, his introduction, he's firing a, a rocket launcher at our guys. So, so I would say no, he's not a. Okay. Uh, you don't want to see him coming okay. if you're uh, one of our guys. I think. So, will we be seeing any new allies for the group then? Will we see any characters that might become regulars? Well, we also have um, uh, Matt Cedeno, um who's joining the cast this season. Who's fantastic and comes on as a a, a bounty hunter in episode two. Um, who starts out like uh, uh, um, an antagonist working against our guys, and then quickly joins them and earns his earns his way onto the bus. You know, um, uh, so that's we have a lot of uh, um, allies, but you know whether they make it to the end of the episode or not, uh, you never know. So when you say he's a bounty hunter, I mean is that in his past life or is he or in his current life? Is he chasing after Murphy? Is that part of what he's doing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm trying to think if that's a spoiler or not, but not really. Not really. Every I think this season everybody's after Murphy. Murphy yeah. Yeah. Everybody. You'll see at the end of the pilot, everybody finds out what that he exists. And the, the whole world's after the Murphy. Okay. Uh, and, the Murphy. Uh, yeah. You're going to add a the on the show? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's called, that's how everybody <laughs> refers to him. They're all after the Murphy. And, and there's all these rumors about what he looks like and who he is and that, that he can levitate and he can control zombies and all this crazy stuff. And um, it gets completely out of hand. You'll, Murphy worship? You'll see. Uh, what's that? Any Murphy worship? Murphy worship? Oh yeah. Well, there's like oh, yeah, yeah cult of personality yeah. builds up around him. Yeah, that's, yeah he's got his little followers. And... So how does word get out about Murphy? How does it spread around? Well, that's uh, uh, Citizen Z has something to do with it. Um, you know, because you'll see he he has a very different season from last season. Um, you know, because one of those nukes is headed his way. Um, so that'll be. Uh, uh, and interesting to see where that goes with him and where we want. I mean, nobody will know where he's at at the end of the season. Nobody would guess at the beginning of the season. So it'll be really interesting to follow what happens to him. And we take his safety away from him. I'll, I'll say that much. So um, well, right. He will be. Um, he's gonna find. He's gonna have to do some fighting. He's got some fighting on his hands. And uh, everybody's fighting. Oh my gosh. A lot of fighting. Yeah, we've been exhausting you guys. That's I mean, really it's hard. almost as hard for our cast as uh, it is for the characters in the show. You know, yeah, it's, it's it should have worked out more. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was volcanic. It's a hundred damn degrees. Too. Zombies, horny zombies. Uh, I mean, is there any, any other zombies you can deal with? In, in the well, we have we have. Let's see. We have flaming zombies. We have. We do have we we do have some stripper zombies. We've got uh, oh. um, we have uh, some seaweed this season, and um, some some pot smoking zombies, and uh, um, and Zeta zombies, and uh, yeah, we've got Fido, the Fido zombies. We have a alien zombies, alien zombies. We got it's a, you know if you want them, we got them. Um, we're the show that says yeah, we do that. You know, so that's our. Uh, um, and our idea is that the zombies are mutating constantly, so it's a different threat every week, and different things come up. And again, just trying to keep it all unexpected, and you know, uh, keep the audience like guessing what we're going to do next. So. By the way, uh, congratulations on the 15 episodes. Oh yeah, yeah, we're very excited to have a bigger season this uh, this year. No, it's premiere date yet, or is that still? What's that? Do you have a premiere date yet, or is that still up to you? I think we're going to reveal that at the the, the big okay, thing sometime mid September, but okay. I think the exact okay. date and time will be part of the announcement at the panel. I think. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.